Horror cinema and literature are both more popular now than ever, but there's one thing that these stories truly cannot tap into, the reality of frightening moments shared by anonymous users online. This anonymity and first person perspective gives these accounts a more tangible dread than those concocted by Hollywood, leaving us to question what really lurks out there in the dark. Many such experiences have been shared on forums including Reddit and should not be read by the faint hearted. Here are the 10 scariest posts on internet forums. Number 10 are unexpected files. 4chan has a reputation for exploring the darker side of life and the internet. Through the anonymous posts which appear there, people often share links to the weird, the bizarre, and the outright frightening. One such post revolved around a 4chan user who discovered unexpected files on his computer. Those files seemed unusual and were corrupted, so the user shared them on 4chan and asked for the opinion of others. Over time, 4chan users realized that the files were hiding images. When unscrambled, and put together, the images showed a terrifying face. They also contained messages such as, I am God. The original user then began to receive strange anonymous text messages, which requested that he send the face to an unknown recipient. In return, he received a binary code, and when this was decoded, it contained the chilling message, we all die. Number nine is the dog. Reddit contains more forums than anywhere else online. Among the harmless images and posts which are stored there, you will find subreddits where people post their truly frightening experiences. One such post is the stuff of nightmares. One night, a Redditor was finishing off some housework late at night and was too busy to take her dog for a full walk. For that reason, she let the dog out into the backyard and closed the door. While finishing the dishes, the woman heard her dog after a while scratching at the back door as he usually did, wanting to come back into the house. Something felt strange about that night, and so the Redditor looked through the peephole in the back door before opening it. What she saw was terrifying. A man was scratching at the door, pretending to be the dog, so that she would let him inside. Number 8 is the biggest fan. Forums are often places where individuals with shared interests can post and give their opinions. In some instances, these forums are sanctuaries for hardcore fandoms. One such forum attracted many users to post about their favorite TV show, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This show was extremely popular in the late 1990s and early 2000s, and still has a large fan base to this day. At first glance, this forum appeared like any other place for fans, thousands of posts being made discussing various elements of the show. On closer scrutiny, however, these posts took on a sinister character. The forum contained over 40,000 posts describing the current habits of cast members. What made this so creepy was that only one person had made those posts. This fan would even reply to herself over and over again and continued posting every day for over six years. Number seven is TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor is a website used to rate and review various locations, holiday spots, and places of interest. Users share their experiences and leave suggestions as to why someone would either visit somewhere or avoid it altogether. In one forum post on TripAdvisor, a forum user from Australia was asking for help. He had began receiving strange private messages from another TripAdvisor user. He had never encountered this person before. They went by the handle, I've got sore feet, as though they were someone who had walk the earth for the longest time. This user began sending creepy and threatening messages. They ended up going through every post, every comment, and every sentence that the original poster had ever made on the website. All they would continually ask was, why do you think this, over and over again, and no one knows why. Number six are the survivalists. 
Survivalistboards.com is a forum for those interested in heading out into the wild and surviving against the elements. Users there usually share survival tips, but in one infamous forum thread, they shared the creepier things that they had encountered there. Some of the users agreed that they had experienced similar things. Many of them had felt moments of real tension while camping at night, as though being washed from the trees. Several of these experienced survival experts were so spooked that they had abandoned their equipment and refused to return. Some suggested that these sensations were brought on by either a predator or by a person hiding nearby. Others encountered strange noises which rushed across a trail at night. One thing that they did all agree on is that the forests of the world contain things of which we have no understanding. Number five is the archivist. Catfishing is a term given to those who make fake social media profiles. They take pictures of real people, build a fake bio, and then lure others in with private messages and posts, pretending to be someone that they're not. Sometimes this is done out of loneliness, but in other cases, it may be done to lure in a specific person. Take one forum post on Flickr, for example. A user there discovered that images from her Facebook page had been uploaded to a different random Flickr account, complete with sordid descriptions and twisted fantasies best not described for the squeamish among you. Some have suggested that the very purpose of those posts was to goad the user, but others claim it was done with a more sinister motive. Each photograph had been tagged with information showing that the fake profiler knew where the woman in the photos lived. Number four is Alexa is alive. Amazon's range of Alexa devices allows owners to ask questions, control household smart appliances, and play music. The name Alexa has been given to the artificial intelligence used to power these devices, which are always on, always listening, and always connected to the internet. In one forum post on Amazon's own forums, it became clear quickly that something spooky was going on with one device. A user on the forums reported that at night, they would wake up and find that Alexa was randomly playing strange creepy music, even though no one was around to request this. No one knows how the device was triggered, and in fact, some believe that these devices are somehow controlling themselves at times. Which leads to the question, has Amazon inadvertently created something conscious that enjoys the creepier side of life? Number three is the creepy gamer. RPG enthusiasts get an unfair reputation at times for being creepy. Most people who enjoy these games are like anyone else, just wanting to have some fun. However, every now and then, a rotten apple spoils the barrel, and an RPG gamer shows their truly frightening side. On the RPG.net forums, a poster there outlined her ex-husband's unnerving relationship with a popular RPG. Over the course of seven years, role-playing consumed her husband. He began as someone enthusiastic about it, but over time, it became the central pillar of his life. At a Christmas dinner with family, the gamer began talking about a wizard character that he had created whose magic was solely created to inflict harm on the young. Over time, he withdrew completely from any other aspect of his life, and their marriage was slowly eroded by his dark alter ego. Number two is the mirror. On the tap of forums, there is a thread where people share their scary real life stories. Many of them are worth reading, but one stands out as the strangest and most frightening. In this post, a user describes how his wife bought an old art deco makeup vanity table. As is the style with these pieces of furniture, it came with a large oval mirror which had an ominous feel to it. One day the husband was painting the vanity table black so that it would match the rest of the bedroom furniture, though they hadn't decided where it should go. The husband shouted to his wife in the other room, where are we going to put this thing? But before the wife could answer, the husband had pulled out a drawer and flipped it over to paint the underside. In black ink, the words put me in the middle, Jack, were scrawled on the wood. The husband's name was Jack. And number one is carried away. 
One user on Reddit asked the question, what was your creepy unexplained experience as a child? The poster received hundreds of replies, but one answer remains the creepiest. In it, the anonymous user described how she had been put to bed one night when she was very young. When she woke up fully, she found herself downstairs. This confused her parents as the father was at work and the mother was sound asleep, so there was no one awake in the house at the time who could have moved her downstairs onto the sofa. Furthermore, a safety gate at the top of the stairs would have been difficult to unlock for such a young child. When the girl's parents asked her how she did it, she didn't know. But she did have a dream about a tall man lifting her from her bed and carrying her downstairs. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to my channel. And a very special thank you to all of my channel members, especially those names you see on screen right now. All of you help keep my channel going. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.